Hello and welcome to Be Madden Revit Tutorials. In today's tutorial, dear friends, I am very proud to share with you almost finished project of a family house. This project is made for the Belgium, Brussels market and the authorities from there require from us to make it on the on this way. Uh, every country has its standards and for the Brussels we need to make it uh, in this region we need to make it on the uh, big paper. This is A1 paper size and here we have two of the uh, this A1 papers. On the one we have floor plans, side plans, axonometries, isometries and profiles with the information of the project here. On the second page we have elevation section presentations with uh, isometric sections, axonometries and tree also together with the project informations and legends here. Now this is the example how you make how you can create the uh, project presentations. This is almost ready project for the authorities to get permission for execution project so we can stra start after that with uh, construction. All right, here you have informations for this title block. They are parametric and here you can change height and height of this title block. Uh, this is A1. Sometimes we created uh, A0, but uh, for this project, this is scale 100. The uh, A1 is quite enough. And here for the elevations, I can show you the few tips and tricks how you can make the presentation like this. I create this uh, frame using uh, fill region and if you want to move this drawing up, down, left and right, you don't have to move it from the, from the sheet title block. From here you don't have to move it right on the, or left, up and down. It can stay where it is. You just need to select the fill region. Uh, sorry. You just need to crop region, crop view. And pressing on the keyboard, here you have arrows that shows left, right, up and down. And by clicking on it, you can move this drawing you see or you can move it up or down and it will stay in the same place on the sheet it won't move from the this uh, crop view won't move only the drawings inside it will move left, right, up and down. Also for the background I've used the uh, image and from here graphic display options or you can go here graphic display options background from here you can change the uh, background something like this this is the simple sky background uh, it's gradient background and this is the image you go here and from here you can import the image you want all right uh, just to show you uh, from here you can move and customize this image you can move it up down left right and you can say uh, change the size of it by choosing these options here Okay, this is all for the project presentations, tips and tricks. Let's go on the on the sheets. Okay, and after you place these drawings on the uh, sheet, you 
just need to add a few isometric presentations and axonometric presentations since you have the 3D model. Uh, also, if when you create this uh, sheets and when you get the message from the clients wh where they want to make changes on the project, you can do it in very easy way. For example, if they want or if you decide and suggest them to make the, uh, for example, in this case, if you want to add window here. All right, let's go on the ground floor. This is for the Belgium Brussels made project, just to repeat, and the language is French in this region, where, uh, we'll, where this house will be um, built. All right, uh, now I will just change the place on the wall and the height maybe something like this uh, here we want this window to be visible so we will ch select the plan view plan region okay All right, and we will change the height where it's cut the wall. The height can be 190. All right, that's it. And for example, we want to add windows here. What I wanted to say uh, that when you do these changes, they will automatically appear in the sheets and you can send the project and make your changes very fast. Okay, just to change the parameters here. I need to do the same with the other window. Okay, and I will change the height of this window also. I will do the same here, and I will edit this plan region so those two windows will be visible also. Okay. And that's it. We make changes on the ground floor plan. And when we go to the elevation sections, they will appear, these, uh, those changes will appear automatically. You see here, where else it's visible, it's visible here, here, and on the 3D views, axonometries, and on the other views, it will be visible. Okay, you see. It's visible here and everywhere where these drawings appears. Actually, this is the point of using Revit. When you uh, properly create and prepare your files, the, the every changes will uh, be made very fast and the PDF file or exporting files will be ready uh, faster than other uh, than using other softwares you see everything can be uh, made in a very very fast way all right th this is all dear friends this is all for this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and colleagues so uh, this uh, will be useful for them also this is 3D view of this project and that's it. Bye, see you in the next tutorial.